All right, guys, now Tuesday, and welcome back to the uh, 1968 Triumph TR250 restoration project. Uh, we're just picking up where we left off yesterday. We're just having a look at the uh, grill that we painted, and it dried up uh, quite nicely. Next step is to add in these marker lights that I'd featured uh, previously. These were supplied to me by Moss Motors, and I'll put the uh, part number below. Uh, we are just about to affix these, but uh, they have a little bit of a di different fixing um, type than the stock lights did. The stock lights utilize these spire nuts while these just have bolt-on locations. So I've drilled a hole up the top here. I've centered the light and drilled the hole. We'll use this bottom uh, fixing point here with a washer on the back and this uh, part up top is two points of fixing on these as you can see from there. We've already got the hardware ready to go. So we'll just drop that in there, see what that looks like, make sure it's centered up. We've uh, positioned it so that the um, hardware is uh, left to right centered and we have this logo up the top here we're centering with this I think it says a up at the top here we've got that as the top point of the light alright so we'll install this side and then we'll do the same thing to the other side and we'll call this dash or dash we'll call the grill done for All now alright guys lights are installed and I think they look good much better than the old crack lenses that were on there so uh, I think the actual little blackout section in the corner has actually turned out pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the dash as a whole. I think it'll look good back on the car. So we'll call that little project done and we'll move on to the next one. Alright guys, the next project is fairly easy. If you recall some time ago now, I did quite a bit of work on these headlight buckets and had a lot of uh, rust repairs done to them. You can see here where I've repaired it not extremely well but this is actually the bottom of the bucket you'll never even see that this is the top of the bucket that you see from the engine bay with the leads for the headlight uh, wiring harness coming out through the top here with a grommet so uh, I think what I'm going to do is just scratch these up and give them a fresh coat of gloss black paint since they've been damaged a little bit during the uh, storage period I would originally thought about buying new ones of these because I thought some of the damage was more extensive and I actually thought that these tabs had broken off. I know you can buy the actual new tabs from them, and I actually have some coming in the, uh, in the mail just to replace these if required. Anyway, we'll just scratch those up, give them a quick coat of gloss black, as mentioned. I do have the inners uh, hanging over here, and we've just given them a quick coat of paint. They look good. I do have some other new parts coming as well. I think the internal rings are coming um, in the post so we'll pack, unpackage those when we get that and hopefully um, we'll paint these now and they'll be dry enough to uh, get them on the car when the package arrives possibly later today alright that's it for now let's get uh, scrubbing these down with a little uh, gray scotch bright and then we'll hit them with the gloss black trim clad alright the buckets are painted and we've just got them in front of the heater drying Looks like my package is in at the post office. We have to go in and pick it up. It's not going to be delivered to the house. So we're going to go and do that now. Hopefully it's arrived. All right, it's not a very big box, but it's got a lot of potential. The potential to keep me busy for uh, a little while longer anyway. There's a lot of little bits and bobs in here uh, to finish up a lot of different projects. So we'll uh, take them one by one. Uh, right now I've just unpacked the uh, most current project, which is the um, headlight buckets and associated hardware so the buckets are down there drying nicely in front of the uh, in front of the hot fan and uh, as mentioned we have those inners painted over there um, I do need to go grab my tripod lights from inside but I have new uh, rings new rubber gaskets new leads all the associated hardware and adjusters and there's the old stuff standing by I did actually polish these up they actually didn't polish up too bad. There's a lot of overspray on them and they're a little rusty on the inside, but they're definitely usable. I may even go back with the original rings and just keep these as backup. I've got other projects I can use those on anyway, so I may actually just fit those back on. We'll see when we get there. I'll see how much shows, let's say that. If we can see the overspray ring, then uh, we might actually go with the new rings, but I don't, you can, I don't think you can actually see that once everything is installed, so we'll play it by ear. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to grab my lights, um, my sealed beam units, 
and uh, we'll bring them back and we'll start this project shortly. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick uh, walk through on how to install the headlight buckets on a uh, TR250, TR5, and I think early TR6 that has the uh, two adjuster uh, bucket. There are later buckets that are three adjuster. So I've got my uh, freshly painted bucket here and we've got our brand new rubber gaskets. I don't know if you can see that there. So well, the first thing I do is I figure out where this gasket needs to be installed and there's basically two ways you can install it here, the wrong way and the right way. So there's a, uh, you could potentially install it here you see the large holes where these actually go through. You can actually install it here or you can install it here. What I normally try to do is I'll actually try to install it on the back of the bucket and that will give me an idea where these tabs or these uh, little um, rubber bungs need to go in based on where the adjuster screws are on the bucket. So if I put this on the back and line it up to where the adjuster screws are for the headlight I know that this is at the bottom for the uh, trim ring fixing point so that would mean that this goes here in this location. You can also check these holes here to make sure they align with the three spire nuts. So I'm just going to fit that gasket loosely on the back here. Pull it down tight around the edge and we will stick that bucket in here temporarily. And I'm not sure if that's going to stay there for me or not while I get my screws. Now you could install the wiring at this point or you could wait to do it uh, until the next step. It's not essential that you do it at the moment. Um, I find it actually easier to do it once the bucket is on the car. So let me get the uh, fixing screws and hopefully that will stay there while I do that. I'm using the stock fixing screws and new washers. These are, I can't remember the name of these screws off the top of my head. They're a little bit uh, different. They're coarse thread. So this is what they look like. They're a little rusty. Oh, let me get you in focus here. That's what they look like. And again, I was going to replace the washers. This one looks like the washer is rusted on it. So we may not be replacing this one. Anyway, here are the new washers for the other two. I'll just put those on quickly. Now, it looks like the replacement screws, if you order replacement screws, they just look like a metal screw. They don't look like this type of screw. So obviously you could use those if you wanted to, but it's, uh, if it's a concourse car that you're going for, I believe these screws can be seen on the back side. So I'm not sure if a judge would nail you on those or not. Anyway, we are going to um, put one of these in just to get this. Now you may need to uh, get an awl to poke through the rubber because often the rubber is not uh, doesn't have a through hole. So let me get this punched and I'll be back. All right, we just got the uh, one screw started, and uh, we are just about to start the other ones. Hopefully, you're on my bad side here, unfortunately. So uh, you'll have to muddle through with me. Let's get that last one in before we go too far. Make sure it goes through the actual gasket. Just tighten this equally until it seats flat. I'm 
All right, so the bucket is in firmly. So the next step, I usually add my adjuster screws. Now this one, again, you may need to uh, uh, replace these if they've broken or fallen out. I've actually got a replacement here. I just need to punch that in a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to get a little punch and a hammer. Stand by. They're a little difficult to uh, press in, <clears throat> so you may need some assistance. So let's see if I can just tap this in without damaging anything. Okay, that's looking good. All right, that's seated in there now. So now we can get our adjuster screws. And our spring. So the adjusting screw set will come with, uh, if you buy the set, will come with, uh, let me see if I can show you this. Where are you? Okay, so you got the spring, which will hold the inner ring uh, for the adjusters. And then it's got the adjuster screws. Where are you? And it's got those little black um, pockets for the adjuster screws to go through. So we'll take our adjuster screws. We'll just feed those in here. Easier said than done. And we'll just hang our spring here temporarily. Okay. Screw these adjusters in a bit long bit further in. Probably about halfway in. Okay, now we can get our new uh, wiring harness before we get too uh, much further in. And the grommet is already attached to this harness. So, here's the harness. So that will go inside the bucket and then up through inside. Just pull that up and you'll see the uh, the grommet here and just push that up and through and just get it seated where it needs to be there you go so that's done next step is to attach the inner bucket You can call this the adjusting bucket if you'd like. So that's this piece here. Okay. Now you'll see that there are two locating points here and here. Okay. So that will go here, like so, behind these adjusters. Something like that. And then you'll need to hook up your spring. So we'll just move the harness up a little bit. Grab yourself a pair of uh, vice grips. 
I find it easier to hook the spring on the actual the actual inner here. Let's go with this. Take our vice grips. Grab a hold of that spring. It's going to be a little challenging to put on. Let's get a good hold of it. Probably wear goggles just in case this slips. Again, I'm on my wrong side. Get it this way. Okay. There's your adjuster spring installed. Now you can turn your adjusters in further. And I just try to uh, adjust this where I just eyeball it. Obviously you'll need to adjust these once the, uh, the car is getting ready for the road. That will be part of the safety certification is to aim the headlights. So you can, some guys can do it. You can do it at home where you can get it done professionally. So that's something we'll need to do later, but we'll just uh, eyeball this for now and we'll get it adjusted when we're getting closer to getting this back on the road, whenever that is going to be. All right. That looks good. All right, next step. We're going to get our light and our ring and our fasteners together. All right, here is our ring that will hold the bulb in. And again, there's only one way this can go. You just have to line up the tabs like so. So that will go like that, okay? I've got those small screws here in my hand, ready to go. Now for the lights for this one, I'm using a, uh, I think it's a PL700 Lucas Tri-Bar. Uh, this has the, um, Halogen lights, it's a 60 and 55 watt bulb. So you could just have a regular conventional sealed beam light. I think the, the lights that came out of this car were actually quite nice. They were Corello lights and uh, also halogens. So let me just put the bulb in here carefully. No dropping this could be expensive. So, I don't know if you can see the back of this. The little spring, there's the uh, front. Made in England. These are not the best quality headlights, but they definitely look the uh, part for an old British sports car. I am going to be having uh, some auxiliary driving lights as well, so that'll help this out. So there's a little spring unit here you need to uh, lift to be put the bulb in properly and the bulb will just fit in and drop down like so so once that in that's in you probably can't see that once that's in you can reaffix the cable clip something like this again I think you're off camera but I can't help it let me try to adjust you down a little bit so this goes on the back these two tabs go on the inside then these pull over the pins and lock it like so so that's in place all right so now that the bulb is in place you're obviously going to want to plug it into your new harness and you've got your other components standing by Let's get this plugged in. 
You could use some dielectric grease here if you wanted to, if you're concerned about it. Maybe if you have an old harness, you might want to do that. It's going to be a little difficult to get this in. Okay, that's firmly attached now so next step is to lock this in place now this bulb actually has some locating tabs here let me adjust you back up here so it's got these locating tabs here on the back of the housing they actually locate here if you can see that they'll actually locate here there's three of them Just make sure you're lined up which is there and obviously the bulb is straight oh we forgot to put our boot on the back so let's come back and do that again let's take our electrical connector off that was so much fun to get on we've got a black boot to go on the back here before that happens let's do that almost forgot How come you guys didn't say anything? All right, there's our ceiling boot on. Attach the harness again. Okay, back to where we were before. Set that in there. Grab your outer ring. Spin it to where it needs to be. Looks like it's going to be there. Grab your screws. Started by hand. Okay, one on the bottom left. Okay. And the next step is to add your finisher. polishing and a little Windex at this point. Let's do a little Windex. And the last thing is to attach our trim ring. It's got a little uh, clip down the bottom here. These are the original trim rings from this car. They've seen better days, but we're going to use them. We'll see if we can polish them up a little bit more. Anyway, the uh, little spring is down the bottom here. You just basically locate that in the center of that spring, and this should snap on like so and stay there and we'll give this a little bit of a 
polish. Just using some autosol. Alright guys, there's a quick look of both the headlights fitted and I think they look good. They look uh, period correct for sure. Um, we will loosely fit the grill now. Um, I will have to remove the grill later. I do want to remove the grill later to have access to the hood hinges or the bonnet hinges so I can fasten the fasteners from underneath by reaching through the grill opening. So uh, like I said, we'll just put it on loosely uh, just to get it out of the way. I'm sure it'll be a few uh, weeks until we get to actually fastening the bonnet on this car as it's yet to be painted. Anyway, let's get the grill installed and we'll have a uh, final look for the evening. Alright guys, mission accomplished. The uh, headlight buckets look great from the uh, inside the engine compartment. Nice and shiny and glossy. Just the way I wanted them. So they look great, especially with the new uh, harnesses coming out the back there. And the grill, I think it looks pretty good too. What do you think? Looking more like a car each day. Again, that's just on there loosely. It's not... Uh, fixed to the uh, bottom two locations yet on the inside but it is sitting up flush down here just need to get a couple fasteners and these are just loosely affixed and uh, I think it looks great I'm happy with the uh, way the um, painting turned out I think it looks fine with the uh, blacked out corners as far as I'm concerned and again we're gonna have some uh, custom driving light uh, brackets I'm gonna have to make something up to hold a couple of Lucas uh, driving lights and probably with some uh, black covers so I think I'll go nicely with the uh, with the grill treatment so that looks good for today good progress and we'll call it a night and we'll get back out here tomorrow and play with the uh, rest of the uh, bunch of parts in that little box see what else we can finish off